Hello Sagittarius. We're doing your reading for the beginning to mid-July of this current year. Did deal. Let's see what's going on with you guys. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right? So it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry. It's just a card game, no biggie. This is going to be your side. It's going to be the person you're dealing with side. And what happens if you guys approach each other, right? Thunderdome, just with a different method. Okay? Okay. So, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you. We have a five of wands right here. It just fighting, fighting everybody. Everyone just trying to murder each other. Um, over a offer. So like, what the fuck? Um, might be being a tad of a control freak when it comes to this offer, though, or how you want to present it to you. Because there's a lot of conflict around that. Now, there is this feeling of wanting to just celebrate, have fun, come together. There might even be some bitches, like, saying some crap, like, just talking. It could be spell work. Uh, dealing with somebody. Getting their blessings, but there is another person watching them from a distance. In a really creepy sort of way. Like, you're getting all this, like, coolness and advancement and, like, you're getting somewhere with yourself. But there's someone back there just watching. Waiting. Like, I think wanting to approach you. Uh, you might also be feeling like a woman scored. Or maybe you feel like someone's getting blessed and you're getting left behind in the shadows. But no, I don't think so. I think you're getting something. Sagittarius and someone's watching you. Uh, Queen of Swords right here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, woman scorned, very illogical in her cutting of people. Um, coming in impulsively, with some thought though, but impulsively, making travel plans, going somewhere, spreading a message of sorts. Hmm. But there's conflict here, so like... And I feel like there's no options. Or all the options are just shit. So what this person is doing on this side, shall we? We shall. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? So this could be somebody who's trying to come at you. Possibly watching you very closely. Wanting to come in swiftly and... I don't feel like defend something as much as just be an aggressor. He doesn't look very happy. His sword's glowing like a lightsaber. Like, obviously believing that he's in the right. I mean, if it was like... Jedi thing, I, I would think something definitely in the right. But kind of like, you know, might be crazy, right? They feel like all their investment has gone to waste, but they're looking at you with it too. All sour because things didn't go the way they invested them to be. Um, still dreaming about, like, that completion with the Ten of Cups. And still feeling very heartbroken about a separation. Ah. <laughs> but almost not realizing that, like, they stabbed themselves. 
Like they laid down their armor and just started putting swords into it and now just looking over it's like totally eclipses them. I mean there's an eclipse going on but it's like they're still blind to it. Or they just don't want to see it. One of the two. Two swords. Upside down. I feel like they, they just want to stay out of things and like make a decision during calm. But it's like, even then it's hard for them to figure out what they want to do. But they're on the wheel of fate kind of thing. Right? So, what else is going on with you, Sag? You are moving forward. You are going somewhere. I don't know where you're going, but you're going somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, there might be a slow offer you're trying to make too, possibly going with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Slowly coming to it. Um, you might be seeing a little bit too much action, especially towards this person. I feel like that could really backfire. I don't know how, but it's like, like it could be really, really intense for them, possibly. And they're probably not used to that. Kind of feeling left unhappy in a lot of situations. Definitely could be dealing with a Leo somewhere. And there's um, spilt milk you're having a hard time getting over. Like your cubs got knocked over, you're still not happy about it. I feel like you're looking at this person with a lot more scrutiny than what you should. With the King of Wands here. Like, you know, any little infraction that's a reason to be off with their head. Yeah, a tower moment. It's like, whatever you're upset about, or whatever you feel like this cups are that got spilled over, it's going to be like a tower moment for you where you realize something, I think. And then you'll want to, like, kind of reach out and communicate once that comes to you. Possibly dealing with an Aquarius somewhere as well. What's this person doing? I said that this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Probably not, but it is. So. You guys could also switch places if you got to. It's whatever. We got a Queen of Swords right here once again. But she's upright now. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. She's sitting there still ready for battle. Like, she's silver-haired. But it does not mean she will not cut a bitch. That's for sure. Um, I feel like someone just can't get over the differences. Like, you know, I live on land. You live on in the air. We can never be together. Like, that, like something like that. Like, there, there's just that notion. But this person is so tempted to let their guard down. It's like, hmm. Sagittarius looks really nice. Or is this someone else getting their attention away from you? Which, there seems like there's a tower moment where, like, it does not happen. Like, an illusion is not killed off. So you will have a tower moment. This person won't, for some reason. And they get a judgment call right here. They have the right idea about something that's happening. Like their options that they have been choosing between weren't getting them to a new place. Oh, okay. And they're coming out of the introspection now after realizing this. And in that introspection, it's much more better for them to ride off with whatever victory they can get and kind of be stingy and keep their feelings to themselves. I 
feel like they're still dealing with a lot of snakes in their yard, you know? Okay, what happens if you guys approach each other? Ah. 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 <laughs> they're just not good at shuffling today, apparently. Well, lots of unhappy times that this person has um, come out to express. I think it's like their unhappiness that they realize they um, was the issue. And maybe that, I feel like, almost like they realize they kind of did it to themselves a little bit, too. Almost like they're approaching you with that. Maybe they thought that, like, you could help them and it just kind of didn't work with them the way it should have. Boop. Yeah, probably because of some, like, really not-so-healthy relationships. Could have been a Capricorn. They were dealing with as well. Some not-so-good karma came about of it. <laughs> probably dealing with a Libra right here. So they had to walk away to better things, and I think they almost want to walk away... Walk to you for some better joy a little bit. Because it'll make them feel like there are a lot more possibilities. Maybe there are more things to fulfill by going to you. Okay, so like, basically, what's the outcome in all of this? Boop. You're sorry. Um, I don't know if you're having it, though. There is some sort of lack of clarity. I don't think they're understanding where you're coming from. Like, you still have your... You still have the cover over the cup, because you're coming out like the... The Queen of Cups right here. You're all confabulable, blah, 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 with your feelings and shit. So, they probably just don't understand because you're not expressing them in a, in a method or way that they're not used to. So it's like, you kind of got to look at your options and like, understand that they're eyeing you because I don't know, it's like, I think they feel like they need some sort of control. Like they're not trying to be unfair about it, but it's like they, they feel like they need to be in control of something. Hmm. You might be like, oh, okay, whatever, but I'm still in charge of the money. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, so, okay. Um, how's your reading, Sagittarius? Um, I feel like be careful with this, though. Like, with this King of Pentacles, be careful with this, because this person is kind of, like, wanting control of some sorts, but I don't feel like it's bad. I, I, like, I don't feel like this person is doing anything wrong. Yet. But... I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. And I will see you all later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.